All right. So there we go. Uh, welcome again. This is episode 72 of the podcast. And today we Randy is missing. Randy the Ragnarok. He is at work at the moment. So we got bonus bones, Kevin. What's going on, guys? Bonus bones. Get your book. <laughs> and Danny the Sober Guardian. Hey. So I hope everybody has sound or uh, everybody can hear fine on this stream. I have a new PC setup, so I had to do my whole OBS setup all over again. And I hope I put all my settings properly. It should be fine because I was streaming change your camera view earlier. Well. Yeah, I did. I moved it to the side. Yeah. So it's got a better mm. view. And you actually my, my nerdy shirts too. So I got, I got this I'm one so here. frozen. Hold on, <laughs> give me a sec. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So aside from that, um, usually we'll talk about what we've been playing in the beginning of the show. So I haven't been playing almost nothing because I've been setting up the PC. Like I said, I've been working, uh, been doing other stuff and just keeping that, keeping the house clean. So, oh, Kevin. Ooh, yeah. So, uh, oh, Danny's frozen now. Hey, okay. I'm back. And I should be on soon. All right, there we go. Boom. Danny's frozen now. Okay. Oh, we're all freezing now, huh? Soon it's gonna be you, Dan. <laughs> so uh, let me see. I, I played a little bit of Neo. The, the world ends with world you. Ends with you. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just a little bit of that, and God, nothing else. Not much of anything else. Damn. I, yeah. I, I feel. It's been a busy like week. It, yeah, for it's same. Uh, the only thing I played was. I think fighters, and now was just practicing like a new team. Uh, oh, wait, welcome back. Uh, it was fighters, uh, a little bit of Pokemon, and um, that's about it. And like I, it, I didn't really do much because uh, work's been like a little bit hectic, so. Mm -hmm. so I really couldn't do anything. But yeah, that's all <laughs> I was doing. Yeah, yeah, life adulting sucks. Danny, you still there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Oh, I lost you for a bit. Um, what have you been playing aside from right now, Final Fantasy? I don't play Final Fantasy now. You don't know this. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just, I played it for Final Fantasy it's Christmas time, so a lot of Christmas shopping and um, yeah, looking for stuff. Hmm. To, uh, I was trying to buy myself a Wii, but that shit's fucking impossible to buy. I really want a Wii. A Wii? Yeah. A Switch? Switch, <laughs> Switch. <laughs> No, yo, damn. <laughs> oh, uh, side note, uh, Resident Evil, it is not on HBO Max. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> or he gets to be heated again for the third time in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, playing Final Fantasy, I beat Final Fantasy, I beat, um, well, I beat it, you know, but I, I finished the story, I got my character to level 90. Um, most of them the digital array that came out on the day, the content. I'm at even I'm 80 on most of my characters, jeez. I know. <laughs> I gotta catch up. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the fun, um, what do you call it, the, the queue lines are a lesson in itself. Mm -hmm. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's fun to play now. You know, you know, Final Fantasy had to take the game off their 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 yeah. their shot their store again just because there's so many people buying the yeah. DLC and the queue lines were hours, hours like the the, the in the beginning the, uh, the queue was nine hours for some people. Yeah, I can't imagine. And then they had a glitch that was telling you that it would randomly kick you off because it said it had to do with the. Uh, Um, it had to do with, you know how you can visit another server, which is for you, where I visit you. Uh, visiting servers, yeah. Yeah, it had to do with that, supposedly. Huh. Um, it, whenever people, you know, you get in and buy and then you go and visit another, it's another realm within the server. And a lot of people do that to play with their friends or whatever. And be because that was happening, it was like more people were even, were signing in at the same time. Oh, you, you know what I mean? It's like they onto got... the onto the server. Yeah, so yeah. It got a little complicated. Oh. So what happened was whatever it, it was a glitch, and when it would do that, it would it randomly kick off about seventy five people. <laughs> Jeez, 
a random 75 <clears throat> people on the queue. So uh-huh. if you're in number 90 and, and you, if you, and the queue goes down by 100 or more, or usually about close to, mm-hmm. so if you're like number 99 or number one, you just be part of that 75%, the 70 people who got kicked off just now and you had to start over. So people were waiting like nine hours. I'm, I'm, get to like in the hundreds and then get kicked yeah. off and have to start all over. Imagine waiting nine hours oh, and then wait I, another nine hours. The yeah. The most that I waited was an hour and a half. You know, I, I put it on. And I put you walked away, on. right? I, I walked away. Don't yeah. do about it. Even if you're there, they said. But mm-hmm. um, I got to like under three, four hundred and it, it was at like four thousand. I got to like three, four hundred, so like an hour and a half, maybe a little more. And I'm like, okay, good. I was playing like 20 minutes, whatever. If I came, I went back downstairs and done. I was so pissed. I'm like, I'm not buying this today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Danny, Danny was trying to get me to go on today for Final Fantasy. I was just like, no, I still, I still would rather not wait. Even now, like you know, Danny tells me that the the queue lines are so good, but yeah, or getting like better. Minutes. Yeah, but I was just yeah, like, I mean, nope, I don't want to do peak it. Eight, uh, eight o'clock peak time is gonna be still like maybe. 45 minutes the mm-hmm. most right now um but it's going down and then it'll be back to normal in a few weeks um, yeah, yeah unless something some crazy thing comes out um remember, remember, i do have to say that in the morning uh-huh. so it's it's no good no matter what no matter what day it was even in the beginning i just popped it on once to see every single morning it's like as if nobody was on but yeah, yeah the, the run was still extremely full you know yeah. Like, so you can do all the content still and not have to worry about that. Yeah, but, but it was it was normal. I feel like that's for for most games now. Like it's it's better to play in the morning than the nighttime yeah. because it's mm-hmm. less people and like the chance of you getting kicked or like you having to wait like three four hours. Like not saying you'll always wait, but like an excessive amount of time in a queue would be yeah. less. But who the fuck is gonna wake up at like you know four o'clock in the morning to clock in some hours of Final Fantasy? And, like go to work if they have to work. Dan, except for you, because you're, you're, you're a fucking vampire. I'm already, I mean, uh, I'm already up. I'm not, yeah. It's time today, so I'm yeah. early. Anyway. Yeah, but, not, but nobody, not everybody is going to wake up yeah. at early to play yeah. Final Fantasy, you know? Yeah. But, uh, I hope the, the queue time goes better. Uh, goes but down even, like, it, it was, the queue time was decent until, like, 1 o'clock, I said. After 1, it just, like, it's, it got, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, PM or AM? I got kicked off once where I was playing on my lunch hour. Oh. Okay. I got kicked off in the middle, and I was fucking pissed. <laughs> and I tried to get back on. Must be nice to have time to play in your lunch hour. Yeah. Well, not every <laughs> I just do. It a bit works with the slow because of vacation stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Same. Oh, but yeah, I got kicked off. I tried to get back on. It was like, nope, you're not happening on your lunch hour. Go back to work. All right. It's a sign. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love uh I love being on break and then like none of the kids are like in the cafeteria and I'm just like playing like seven or eight matches in fighters and I'm like you know what <laughs> this match is gonna be laggy as hell but I'm gonna beat this opponent <laughs> and then I lose like three times I'm like all right it's not my night mm. <laughs> I'm just pissed off at the kids like take your apple slices take your milk <laughs> well your slices, so. So since I mean, this, so by the way, this is going to be a super short episode for anybody listening because uh, I'm not. Cause there's I'm out on yet, so. <laughs> yeah, right. But it, mostly because it's just there's no news. Like there's nothing. It, there's a lot of. Of course, there's always going to be news, but it's little tidbits of things that are just like nothing that we could really like discuss deep. So there's nothing to really talk about. Uh, but uh, we're going to do a health potion episode as well right after this show. So we'll talk about a specific article for that if you guys are interested in listening to the health potion, which we talk about um, mental health stuff, mental health awareness and things like that with gaming, with the gaming community. Um, if you want to listen to any of that stuff, listen at thedrunkenguardian.com. All the links for the podcast are there as well as our YouTube channel. Of course, for Twitch as well. So we do the live stream for the gaming news podcast, CDG gaming podcast live 10 p.m eastern time which is right now uh i wanted to ask you guys before we actually get to any questions because again i got no articles so since we talked about what we're playing now are, is there any and now that it's december you know next 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 month is the new year what games are you looking forward to playing next year Ooh, forsaken forsaken, forsaken. elden ring 
Mm. Elder Ring. That's mm-hmm. all I remember. Yeah. Uh, not uh, not trying to boast. Well, I am definitely gonna boast, but uh, we have uh, so many fucking fighting games coming out. Like literally February, that I'm gonna be popped. <laughs> and yeah. it's uh, February, March, uh, like later on, and then we get Bleach back. So like Bleach the anime. So uh, oh, they're stop. bringing it back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Did you ever read the? Did you read the manga? Oh, I I read the manga and then I watched the anime. Uh, I'm not talking about the, the new one. Oh, you're talking about uh, the Thousand Year Blood War? No, uh, I like, haven't I, either. I, 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 I was reading, but that was pretty much, pretty much. I read a few. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the last. I can say that. Sure. That was mm-hmm. the last manga I ever read. Mm-hmm. Was the Bleach because I wanted to see how it compared to the anime. I like this so much. Yeah. And but then um, I just heard from like friends and little things of what they did. Yeah, that and, they, got, and I'm like, well, I can't wait for them to show half of that. Yeah, nah. The the my favorite fight is gonna be the Biakio fight uh, when he fights and he like, not saying spoilers, but he gets his ass beat like pretty severely, and uh, it happens for most fights. Like we're gonna see uh, Hitsugaya and his like his new his yeah. other Bontai. Like I'm excited to see that yeah. shit. Oh, what's uh, his name? The Bontai, the fucking uh, wolf guy. Oh, um, <laughs> I forgot. that's my brother's favorite fucking uh, so American. He's Captain. so corny, he looks so badass, and he's so corny. So, like, we used to always look fun to him. As Bankai is uh, Tenken, fucking, it's just a giant version of him, and it's I'm like, a giant version of him. It's super <laughs> funny. Oh, come on, I gotta kill this guy. He looked badass so before he went back. He was, he was hood, you know, the yeah, like he quiet wolf and shit, and he was good. Everybody wanted. It, his uh, like uh his um th- his his fucking ending in like that season is sad for me, and yeah, Kempa- yeah. and Kempachi. Kempachi. Kempachi's, oh my god! I already was, goes, well, he no he doesn't go he, he, he doesn't just, go go dessert. He just goes, uh, what's, the, what's the first one? the first version? What they call it? Uh, what do you mean? When you first take out your sword, when you use your power. Oh, um, fuck, isn't it just... Is Satsukuya? Shikai. 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 He released the Shikai. <laughs> I don't remember so, any of this. The Shikai was just the basics of what everybody did. The first yeah. power, the first move. Yeah, the little... It's like Kaioken. Kaioken, that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the, the basic one, and fucking Kenpachi never had one, because he never even called out his sword. His he never, sword is, he never, never used... He never used Kendo. Like, let's, let's As I said, it's like they, they, they made him so powerful that he's like, yeah, he he usually uses Kendo style, but he doesn't. He's not doing it right now. He usually just fights yeah. like with a whip. But if he does technique, he's even more powerful than anybody yeah. else. So, like, uh, imagine if he actually calls his sword. Like, you know, yeah. like that type yeah. of thing. Like, does he even yeah. have a gun guy? Like, <laughs> like it, he's at the world. It's, and shit. <laughs> it's so crazy. What, like, I, I'm just excited for it because it, the thing that it, it's, mm. it's a, it's gonna be a pain for me is that it comes out in fucking uh, October. So of it's next like, year. It's uh, yeah, like, like twenty two. Right? No, but the thing is, we're not gonna finish it till like maybe twenty twenty three. Like, I would say May. Like, but I, I'm hoping that like it. I'm hoping that it looks it looks gorgeous already. I already appreciate how it looks. And I was like Ichigo, I love I love that uh his uh Bankai Quincy look with the white and the yeah. like, like that that design is fucking amazing. I, I um, hated the I'm not even sure it was honestly part of it because I stopped reading after How do we end up talking about animes? Fuck it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's a game there's a game on an anime. So. Yeah. Oh, um, oh so I can I can link it. So um Bleach Brief Souls <laughs> Also, uh, continue watches. Uh, continues the story of it. So now we can talk about that. We can talk about so the I don't know how after Aizen he lost his power. Like that story arc on TV was just so bad. You know, um, that, yeah. like <clears throat> weird world. And I, so I don't know, like the real way he's supposed to get his. Like I don't know if that is actually part of the manga. It, the funny, the funny thing about it. All right, is, all right, hold on. We're we're not gonna keep on going on anime stuff. No, no, no. I get it. Final point. Final point. Uh, Aizen is a lot stronger than um than we know. And in the Serete, which is like they have the Soul Reapers and everything. Yeah. Else, he's literally there because he wants to be there. It's not because they have him there as a prisoner. He's just there for like, all right, cool. I'm just here for a bit. And then he ends up working with the Soul Reapers later on. But 
Wait, that's it for Bleach. <laughs> Y'all fucking ADHD like a motherfucker. You know that? All of you. You were saying stuff we're excited for. Jesus excited for Bleach. That had nothing to do with any gaming. Yes, yeah, it did. <laughs> no, it didn't. Bleach, you spoke about Bleach, gaming for 30 Bleach. seconds. Fuck that. Bleach, Bleach <laughs> Bloke has even. its fifth anniversary coming up the same time around that. So I'm excited. You that. said Forsaken, right, Danny? Yeah, for a second, definitely for a second. I'm excited for, it, but I'm, I'm still, I'm still worried on how they're doing the world. I saw a lot of footage. It looks fun, but a lot of poor core. Looks like a lot of empty. It looks like a lot of empty space. So I'm just, I'm excited, but I'm a little hesitant. You think you're gonna be jumping around like not enough combat? Yeah, not enough fighting. Like jumping around, and I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. There was a lot of combat they showed. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna be super hyped and fun. I'm excited to see what you can do and what the storyline. Final Fantasy knows how to. It's where Enix actually knows how to fucking. Story. Yep. Um, do a story, so I, you know I have no doubt on that. Yeah, I probably yeah. would have said Forsaken too for my game, but I, I probably like just to pick something different. God of War. Um, huh? yeah, can't I wait for that, that shit. Is, like for most people, that's like their their number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to know how that how the story just ends, so we could go on to like whatever the next mythology boy whatever fire, that's yeah. gonna be boy of war <laughs> boy <laughs> boy i still think of war <laughs> uh i'm actually excited for project l because uh project l I, yeah it's the What's league that? of legends, league of legends oh because uh uh i i finished watching arcane and it was uh it was good i liked it uh the animation like the animation for the character i liked but the animation for like this the the scenes, I guess the cinematic like the the scenes and everything, I've seen like I'm not gonna knock it, it was it was gorgeous, but I've seen better in another like movie. You know what so I mean? So the art so, was good, but the animation uh, was different. For me for yeah. me for me it was like it was not great, but it was like the characters made the, the scene look much better than what it is. You know what I mean? Mm. Like the, the shading is specifically most of the shading that they had for these characters were like like Oh my fucking god! It was it was almost like watching art move the entire time, like with the characters. But the scenes, I like the backgrounds and everything. I was just like, some of them was like like whatever, it, like whatever scene. Um, but like the rain and everything. Like once I saw the like the rain particles and everything, that shit just made me like, damn, this is really good, like detail, <laughs> like attention to detail. Um, mm, and the characters just... specifically, but I don't know. Some of the backgrounds for me was just like what like a whatever feel you know what i mean mm. i thought it was absolutely gorgeous i mean there was a shot where they, they show her spinning or she's shooting yeah uh, like shooting like crazy and that shit you know like you said too you're around her yeah every time they go back to her back you see one of the kids you know yeah. it's like the monkey on her back i was like that's just perfect fucking great analogy type of thing mm-hmm. and uh it's just a gorgeous scene couldn't get better than that like it's tough like they had so many scenes like that that were just just look great. Yeah, it's really it's it's, it's, it's more of an emotional like movie yeah. or TV show than I thought it would be. I would say, yeah, like I said, I thought that shit made me tear up a few times. You know, mm-hmm. like and it's a simple thing, like when she's telling her that you're not my sister or whatever. I don't like mm-hmm. you are James. Fight, like it's obvious and it's traditional and it's something. It's obviously been done, but with everything that went on, how yeah. you know, just died and the kids who died. All of us know. Yeah. I guess spoilers for anybody to watch it, but the people who die. I like how you like, spoil it first and then yeah, and then the spoiler warning. Then the spoiler warning. Caught myself. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> you caught yourself too late, but <laughs> but like the people who who died is like fuck. That just happened. Like, I thought these were gonna be. I I don't know. I thought these were gonna be characters. Like, he's somebody. Like mm-hmm. they didn't yeah. see him coming. Yeah, so same here. Also, you're like, oh, I get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. How 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 versed are you guys in League of Legends? I've 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 played thirty minutes total since the game ever existed. Okay, uh, so for the the for Clank, Clank he looks like, and I I don't know why, but he was the the chunky boy, uh, that was friends with, with the goggles. Uh, yeah, with the goggles. Yeah. The whole time I was looking at him, I was like, damn, he he kind of reminds me of Blitzkrieg, and it was like the entire time I was watching him. <laughs> what Dan already spoiled that. Uh, what, whatever happens. Yeah. Well, maybe the, the, maybe he'll come back as the robot, like as a robot or something. I don't know. Or something yeah, like that. You never know. Blitz, he, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they'll connect. They'll connect things yeah, somehow. Bro. I, I, yeah. I want them to make more of it, uh, like more of like a story, not just for Jinx, but like more character. Because my god, 
I want they, they ran away with this. <laughs> they re- they really ran away with, it. and it was it was good. Like I really kind of want them to do like another season with like four different characters. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what okay. I mean, like different yeah. characters, like a side, characters. like a different story, yeah. a different story, and then Core's DN link it together. Mm. Uh, yeah, I I don't know if I, if you guys heard, but they have you, you guys know that they have another game out, right? The Ruined King. Was the that King an expansion? Ruined. No, it's like a RPG of four. It's like a turn-based RPG of like four characters. I think it's um Alawi, Misfortune, and I forgot. Oh, and uh, Darius. Okay. And, and uh, it's like a. It's the same thing that Dan was talking about. Four characters, and they end up. It shows them from their different stories and how they link up eventually. Oh, I'm like well, that makes sense. Yeah, and, it, and the voice acting, fucking top tier. Mm. Top tier voice acting. I was like, my fucking god but yet but now that i got now that i got the pc rig going like i I could actually do some real pc gaming um i might try jumping on league of legends a bit more trying out see 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 what this obsession is that randy has randy doesn't have an obsession he just hates and loves it's an unhealthy obsession (laughs) yeah 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 um all right, guys. So not much so, else aside. So we got God of War, we got Forsaken, we got a couple of fighting games. Um, so Man. first, first thing, uh, we'll, first question we'll just talk about is: um, Do you prefer multiplayer games or solo games, single player games? What's what's better for you? What do you guys uh, like to get into more of? You go first, Randy. Uh, Randy. Randy, I, Randy, go I, first. Randy, yo, Randy, go first, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. You said you like what? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Take a shot, bud. <laughs> nah. Um, I can't, I, I, I can't say one or the other because um, I'm so used to. Well, okay, that's I'm gonna get off steam. Um, like I prefer playing games with other people because you like. It's a diff. It's a different environment. Like, if you're playing a story game, like a it's fine and dandy but i need that like i would say kind of connection with other people like even if i'm i'm just like playing with a random like it's it's always fun and you can always meet like new people from playing with multiplayer especially like uh i, I know i say this a lot i'm gonna take a swig of uh fighting games and like any other like F, like fps and all that you definitely i definitely feel like it's better to just play, like you know multiplayer but there are amazing single player games, so it's like it's hard to pick like one or, one over the other. But I'll do multiplayer because I I need people to beat up. You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. that's the reason. But it doesn't it, does it ever like frustrate you or anything like that when you're dealing with anybody that's just frustrating to deal with, whether it be somebody you just can't beat or somebody just being a dick. Uh, no, nah. like, does that bother you? No, nah, because the the thing is, it's never actually the per- well. It's sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's the server, so like I can't really get mad at them, uh, like you know, via lag or something like that, because sometimes it's not their fault. The lag's out of your control. Yeah, the the lag's out of your control. So uh, like that that would be the only thing to frustrate me if I'm playing like some dickhead that's like, you know, teabagging and like (laughs) just shooting fireballs the entire match and just like uh, trying to uh, abusing assists and stuff like that. Like, it's one of those things you have to get used to. But uh, once I beat his ass, I'm running with that W. (laughs) <laughs> mm. i'm winning and dipping on him coco yes i know yeah a one and done kind of situation stop i love you what about you danny yeah, for me it kind of depends on i don't know what genre the game is on. i can't you hear know, you much I'm... it depends on what you, what i'm in the mood for like I'm mostly, I play RPG games, so I have the RPG of the very self solo mm-hmm. games, right? But I love the looter shooters type of thing to play, but not with random people. I don't like random people. I can't stand random <laughs> people. And you know this, like you, you play Destiny and, and you you have to get the group together. Yeah, we talked about that last together. episode. Yeah, you have to get the group together because I don't like people and the means that they really fucking annoy me they mm-hmm. really do and it, it could be the nicest person just trying to be silly and goofy 
And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about you. And in, in my head, I'm like, stop it. Or there'll be this super annoying kid who just like, it's always a kid, a super annoying kid who's just like saying, this, uh, you know, just being a kid playing games and I get it, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't want this. Um, yeah. So, so when I can avoid it, I, I can. So much so that if I'm not playing a multiplayer game with you or somebody I know personally, I don't play it. Um, that game would be like the only exception because you, know, again, you don't have to talk to people. You don't. Yeah. Anything that you don't hear anybody me, complaining. Anything that require me to talk to somebody, I won't do it. Like if I play Final Fantasy 14, I've never gone to a group to do extreme trials with other people because I don't like people, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I won't. But, yeah, yeah. By the always, way, but, but ultimately, I do prefer multiplayer over solo. I know it sounds yeah. funny. Because I would rather play a game with you and Kevin, let's say, mm-hmm. you know, and hope together us three can play. Or it's just me and Danny. I'd rather much play a game with me and Danny because I don't have time to play it. So a lot of it is, oh, Danny can get really good at this. He can show me how to do this type of thing. Or he can, you know, like kind of edge me along type of thing. So this way we can go faster. Yeah, um, freaking. I, 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 it's funny how uh, Danny got to play Destiny before I did when the game came out because I was on deployment like on my, on my last final month before I got out the Navy. And uh, so when I got out and I started playing, Danny was showing me all the ropes and stuff like that. And eventually it died down and I was the one who became obsessed with the game. And then I ended up holding Danny's hand when it came to like pretty much everything else. But then on, on and then the reverse of that is now Danny is like crazy about Final Fantasy fourteen and he's holding my hand with like all the dungeons and like how to get all the good gear and all that shit, how to level up fast. Yeah. There's that back you know, and there's that back and forth. You know what you know it always makes me uh chuckle a little bit about uh sober. I feel like uh I don't know how, how much and, and we're we're not gonna talk about the anime, but he reminds me of Kirito, because if Dan can play by himself he would literally do like the extreme dungeons by himself. <laughs> if he could, him. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like I'm Actually, the old. I, and I and I gotta have. I did the older extreme dungeons by myself, but I won't yeah. do the new ones. But I need somebody to yeah. fuck people. Yeah, dude, mm-hmm. it's just like if I if I was a if I had a blade, just know magic won't be the only thing I'm slaying. All right, just letting you know. <laughs> and and, and I, I'm never to anybody on the phone uh, on it. I'm just like thinking in my head. I just want to get off the fucking call. I just want to get off whatever this is. Just, I'm done, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's I, I never, I'm never gonna be alright. And then I would get off. I'm like, fuck, it. that kid was annoying. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll get that every now and then with the destiny like raid or something. Like I was like, oh my god, stop talking. Like there's some people who just think that they're the leaders and they just have to take over everything that needs to be done. And then we're just we're kind of just biting our tongue and just letting it happen, even though we we either know what we're doing, or like I already ran it through with Danny, so he knows what he's doing, and it it, it goes smoothly anyways. But it's not because it's like not, it, it's ahead. not even that. I, I don't I don't mind some, if somebody wants to take charge and and do a recap or whatever bullshit. I I I don't care. I I see that as part of the game. Fine, let's go through it. It's the ones who are making stupid jokes and doing all these silly comments and just being super overly goofy for no reason and i'm like oh my god see so that's the opposite for me that doesn't bother me that doesn't bother me because i i i learned i learned to tune that stuff out because that's like that's their personality that's if that's the way they want to be then then i leave them alone with that i don't like the whole like being the like calling this person like I don't like people stepping up and automatically being a leader or being a boss without yeah, even without yeah, even asking yeah. if like if anybody knows what they're doing. Because if 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 like if you ask at least, be like, "Yo, does anybody know what they're doing?" I could I could show you, I could teach you. That's all cool. But like when you just start barking orders to everybody as if like you're the only one who plays this game, that's when I have a problem. I can see that because we played Final Fantasy fourteen. And we've done dungeons, and all of a sudden, the guy's trying to tell you the healer, or whatever, trying to tell, or the the random DPS guy, 
was trying to tell you how, where you should stand and yeah. where you should be. Yeah. The floor. On the that. easiest like, bosses. You were so fucking, it was easy, <laughs> but you were so fucking annoyed. And I'm like, <laughs> just let them do it. Who the fuck? It's not hurting us. We don't have to pay. Like, I'm the complete, complete opposite. Well, it's definitely, it it's definitely easy to tune it out and when sometimes... they're just typing it. Like, you could just ignore yeah. the chat. But when you're on voice chat, like in Destiny, it's yeah, a little bit harder to, to ignore that. But even, but again, you, I've seen you get upset for like, oh, like you just start talking shit. Fuck this, I'm not standing there. Fuck, yeah. you, I'm standing in the wrong spot <laughs> on purpose now. Yeah. I'm like, oh fuck, I have to heal. Yeah. Like, All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm one healing in the wrong spot. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, like he kind of uh, has a point, the guy. But all right, because yeah. I'm used because in this game I'm used to constantly hoping somebody can just. Tell me how what to do. Tell you what to do with the mechanics, real quick. And well, then, this yeah, new expansion makes sense also that people will tell you what to do because it's still a new expansion well, that well, everybody knows. Expansion. Well, we talked about yeah the new expansion. Nobody knows the new expansion. So right. The new one is it's I, we talked about it, which it's unlike a community I've seen. They're like mm-hmm. they'll ask, "Hey, you guys want to go online?" And everybody will go, "Yeah, okay." And that's it. They'll shut up. Where like a more toxic community, but like, okay, guys, I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time to. Yeah. Read you know, they'll say some stupid shit like that, like off the back. That's a, and they've probably done it like once, right? That's an LFG uh, thing. That's a problem with Destiny is that you, you, if you go to like websites or the or the LFG app that they have on phones yeah. and stuff, you go, you go look for raid buddies, and a lot of people are just like, you have to know what to do. You have to know what to do. You have to know what to do. There's always a list full of like all these fucking raid requirements. Thing you have to have this. You have to have that. You already know what to do. We're gonna speed run this. All this and that. Like it's hard to find. A, 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 a decent group where you can just have fun without like yeah, taking the raid yeah. too seriously and like taking your time or maybe you only did the raid once you can't really remember how to do the raid that properly mm. you know and then there's sometimes there's uh, certain ways that you do a raid that like you have to do it a certain way or like you can't stray away from it like that's mm-hmm. like yeah there's a lot of toxic things like that inflexibility when it comes to destiny but kevin you, know, you, were, you were gonna say something yeah you know what's my favorite thing about those type of those type of people? All right, so you know how like the guy that's too funny or the guy that's like, barking commands. I always have this thing of saying, "Hey, just shut the fuck up. We know what we're doing." Or yeah. just shut the fuck up. Like I'm I, I'm not always the aggressive one, but like when somebody barks order at me, I like I do the polar opposite on purpose, and it's, it mm-hmm. doesn't matter whatever they say. Like if somebody says like for example in in Dragon Ball, there's like, "Oh, you mash too much." I was like, "Oh, really?" Then you just hear me like this. <laughs> I show you, I show you mashing. Oh, am I mashing? And then like he'll get upset. And he's like, "Why do you keep mashing?" And I was like, "Oh, now shut up." Because <laughs> I'm playing the game, however, I, like I'm having fun. Yeah. Um, with Destiny, it's like if somebody's like, especially because I don't know Destiny as well as you guys, the fact that they would tell me I have to do this a specific way, I would just go run to the boss, get killed, and then type like, "Am I doing this right?" Like. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, just to make it longer, because I'm like, if you're gonna make if you're gonna make this more difficult for me, I'm just gonna make it way harder for you by killing myself See, every thirty seconds. And here's and here's the thing though, like I don't mind or I do like call people out, and I'll be yeah. like, shut the fuck up, like you're yeah. there's no reason why you need to be leading us and all this stuff. Yeah. Except when the person that's doing all that talking is the party leader, because they have that ability to kick you out, and then yeah. you're just wasting your time. So I'll try to bite my tongue as much as I can oh, because I that's the party leader and I don't want to get is, kicked. That, but that's also a part of the responsibility of the party leader <clears> to make <throat> sure that everybody knows. But you should yeah, ask. Right. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes... God, my dear. I, I, you know what I've seen? Like, a great example is me. If you got it, like if I got on a, a raid right now, what would you? And they ask everybody to the fight, and you'd be like, oh, Danny, he doesn't know the fight, but mm-hmm. you know, he, he'll get it. And in the back of my head, I'm like, no, you probably should describe the fight to me because what if I'm shit? You know what I mean? What if mm-hmm. I'm really fucking shit? What if I just should describe it? So, and I think some people are. So, why, happy. but why are you lying then? Like, you, you're gonna, you're a gonna. A lot of people. A I, lot of people, they just have that. Again, though, like, again, though. Go, oh, I, I could do it. I could figure it out. Don't worry. And then. <laughs> they fucking fail, so then the parties are like, oh, all right, you know, I should have fucking explained it the first time, so let me just give it a rundown type of thing. That's a whole different discussion, though. That's your fault for just lying because you want to be a man. Yeah, but on what I'm saying Because you know what you're doing. 
Yeah, and I'm, what I'm saying is that, that probably I can see that happening a lot. I see a lot of people going. I, have I, no clue I don't think that's an excuse. I think you should be asking just, regardless. Nah, for for what was it? What what is the um? It, the Leviathan, the Leviathan boss fight, the raid, yeah, the, yeah, the raid. I didn't know what the fuck was happening, mm-hmm. and like, cause mind it's you, a lot of mechanics. Time. Yeah, it, it was the you got to do the 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 bubble and everything. You got to attack specific parts. All that. like mm-hmm. I didn't know what was happening, and we got wiped. And I was like, "There's like, oh, does anybody know how, what they're doing?" And I was like, "I have no fucking clue." <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and like I didn't. Um, we just ran it the first time, and we got wiped. And then when we did it the second time, we were like doing better, but then we got wiped because somebody wasn't like doing something, but nobody explained what was going on. So mm-hmm. it was like a bunch of clueless people. Uh, I would say like three or four people knew what they were doing, but like like a bunch of clueless people basically just attacking just to attack and mm-hmm. then when we got killed uh then somebody explained like oh you got to do this and then that's when somebody took charge yeah. so like at that point like i'm like i don't mind like but, that, but that's my point like if you're trying especially if you're the party on the drop but if you're the party leader and you want to get to go through sometimes it's just easy to see you know what I don't yeah. care if people know it or don't know it. I'm just gonna make sure everybody knows it's so yeah. on the same page. So you can't say that we didn't describe it or you didn't get the knowledge to begin with, you know. Yeah. And then you do that, you knock it out the park really quick in the beginning, and then you go on, you know. Yeah, go I'm good. Up in there. I'm yeah. good. I, I don't need I don't need anyone barking orders. It, all you have to do is ask. And if there's like one or two people who don't know what they're doing, then that's fine. You can explain it. But, you know, don't don't start. Just, you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to do it this way. You have to do it that yeah. way. You explain the main mechanics, what you need to do, how to how to beat a certain boss or sub boss, how to how to how to run a certain maze. There's there's an easy way for you to go through all that stuff without having to be like, you have to stand right here. You have to do this mean, right like, now. Expl- explain the mechanics, but don't explain like don't over explain like don't don't over explain yeah. where like you're you're literally dictating every single move to a person that they need to yeah. do. Like have fun with the game. Like that's what you're there for to have fun with the game, not to play fucking Rainbow Six and you're doing like this tactical shit where you have to be in all these different places and stuff like that. Like if you want to do that, do the window. That's it. <laughs> we go like, in there for the like I know, I know the mechanics for the fucking Atheon boss, but I'm not gonna always stand in the same spot just because you're telling me to stand there. You know, I'm gonna stand in the wrong spot now because you told me. <laughs> but yeah, but well, I mean, for me. I think I think honestly multiplayer it's it, it's iffy for me as well because um I like multiplayer when it comes to co-op stuff. I love co-op mm. multiplayer. I hate PVP stuff. Okay. I hate competitive. Yeah, Mo- I, and that, I, and that's I, and that's mostly because I just suck at it. Like I, I suck at competitive period. Like and that that goes for Destiny as well. That goes for like, you know, the the Crucible, uh, uh any fighting games. I'm awful at fighting games. <laughs> I like League of Legends. I'm I'm sure I'm gonna suck at that too. Whenever I try to play it, like I'm just really bad at multiplayer uh, competitive League games Le- for some reason. League of Legends does have a hard learning curve. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. brutal. It's, yeah, it's not a, it's not a game you can just pick up and play. There is a huge learning curve of just Wait. learning how to play certain characters. Period. Yeah, D- Dan, you know? I'm not I'm not gonna say this as a joke, but like I would say honestly, try Pokemon Unite. Try it. Isn't that like League? Get- yeah, but it yeah, would be an easy. It's, a, it's a easier. It's it's the easier version of League of Legends, uh-huh. like a a mobile game, and it's less stressful because you'll just play a Pokemon that you like. There's like speed, power, and then like they rotate Pokemon. So like if you want to buy one with the in-game currency, you buy it like that. It's, and it's, it's about free. drive. It's about power. Yeah, about power. <laughs> we stay hungry. We the power. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's. It's much easier, and if anything, I definitely can play with you because yeah, that, that, okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good point too. Yeah, so that you don't like lose your fucking marbles in a game that you're just like, why am I playing this? Yeah. I hate this. It's like, why is nobody running bot? Who's doing mid? <laughs> what the fuck is End up jungle? like fucking Randy growing gray hair is just because he's pissed <laughs> off at, at, at oh, uh, gonna, who he's playing with. You're gonna be like, yo, Kev, where are you? I'm running my roots. I'm in jungle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where the fuck is this jungler? Why is he not ganking? I don't know what that means, uh. sir. Yeah, right. they have it's just it, the, the biggest problem that I have with the is that they have the most community. It's the most toxic. It is yeah. toxic community that I've ever seen, and it's it's people get so fucking pissed in the game, and yeah, it's all typing, but it, it, you can sense that like 
longer and just stand and that's like yeah. you need to calm down Canada. i'm like, i'm curious of that's how that's gonna be like so I'm, i want to play it just for that just to see how, how bad it is so, drugs it's, like, it's Don't just a watch. game and then they go, oh, that's what everybody always says oh like, that's what everybody it's says. It's hmm. pretty, it's and they, oh, bad. don't play ranked. Don't 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 play ranked. I'm playing ranked because I'm having fun and this is the most better yeah. right now. Yeah. Halo, Halo is like that too. I've been trying to do Halo multiplayer, which I'm actually pretty decent with that. But I still, I'm still not like some fucking rank high ranking player. But uh, Halo, I'm pretty good at. But there's a lot of people who do a lot of trash talking. If you don't like, if you're if you're if your uh, KD sucks. Like they'll call you out on that stuff. This motherfucker don't got a higher booster with the samurai sword. Is he even <laughs> playing Halo at this point? What? Uh, and surprisingly, yeah. I haven't seen any teabagging. Oh, uh, just wait. Yeah, <laughs> just wait. yeah, just wait. Right? You can yeah. only teabag thirty times on a corpse before it despawns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, multiplayer. Uh, well, multiplayer competitive, I suck at, so I don't. I don't like playing those much. Uh, I like co-op games because I do like playing with you guys. I like playing with Danny. I, even even randoms. Like I actually do genuinely enjoy, enjoy playing randoms, mostly with Destiny, because I, I've met people not personally, like in person, but I've met people that I still talk to, and like we'll still chat and we'll talk Destiny and stuff. And uh, there are people in my clan back then, like where we still talk to all the time. Like I knew drama that was going on in their fucking life and stuff, and like I never, I don't even know what these people look like. So like so like meeting new people like during raids and stuff if we all click that's always really nice and you know we have fun and not whatnot like single player I I love single player stuff but single player games will usually be like some linear story that you really want to play and then once you beat it once or at least once I beat it once anyways I don't play it again yeah I imagine uh have have you guys played Until Dawn yeah have you played it again <coughs> no. Okay. <laughs> even though there's even though there's multiple choices, like I could replay it again, and it probably wouldn't be the same. But I'm like, no, I beat it. I'm done. I, I'm I, gonna go off. A, I'm gonna go off on a different tangent real quick because you just reminded ahead. me. But go Danny's, ahead. I know Danny's a fan. Okay, you ever seen the movie Clue? Yes. I, Clue, great movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys know? Which I think they should do this today. And again, I'm I'm going with Danny, but because we don't have to talk about. In the movie theater, when it was in theater, it had a different ending. Yeah. In different theaters. In different theaters. Yeah. That is fucking phenomenal. Imagine yeah. going to a movie and seeing a different ending to somebody else down the street type of thing. I think that's a brilliant fucking idea. And then when it came to VHS or whatever, that's when they put all the ending together and gave it a real ending. But they had, and they had like six different endings for that fucking thing. So yeah. it was like well, it was one for each character, just like the board game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but I think that was phenomenal. I don't know. I have a question now that you asked that. All right, so you guys know that there's like two uh, endings to I Am Legend, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. One of them was just like a cut, like they didn't put yeah. it in. And then the other one was the one that we got. The theatrical one, yeah. 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 Had, imagine they did that. <laughs> yeah. And it confused and the then, hell out of people. Yeah. And then we all had the Mandela <laughs> effect like, no, no, there's only one ending. It's only one ending. Yeah. Uh, actually, I always had this idea what would be cool with movies is um, voting. Like, like kind of like a choose your own adventure thing. Like you'll have like a, like a, let's say like a keypad or something like that on your chair and you can like vote for what's going to happen next. And like, there'll be like a, a like results an thing in the screen and be like, okay, like 90% of the audience said the movie's going to go this way. And then like, so like every movie would be a little bit different. And I'm only, I'm only thinking that cause I know not everyone would enjoy that, but mm -hmm. like, I'm only thinking like. A lot of people complaining right now, the movie theaters, like a lot of people can't go because of COVID. They're worried about mm -hmm. that stuff. And there's even shootings going on in fucking movie theaters now. So like a lot of people don't go to movie theaters as much as they used to. So I'm like, all right, if you want to make things interesting, this is kind of an idea you can try to do, at least with some movies. I I, I love the idea of uh, interactive uh, interactive movies and mm. like the idea. Endersnatch. Yeah. And yeah. Endersnatch. Um, and that. That idea is great, but it's just like it's, it's going to be too chaotic. Yeah, yeah uh, you're right. You piss yeah. people off, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, if, if if majority rules pisses people off. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So uh, I can see it working, um, and then not working, and not working at the same. <laughs> Maybe some people like it's going to be. It, they will have to test it out. Like they'll yeah. have to make lab rats and be like, "Hey, you want to see this free movie? Yeah. All you got to do is like uh, interact and see how I feel." Uh, like and then like that way. But 
it, it, imagine you go to that movie scene I mean, and then like people are just like, who the fuck picked no? <laughs> like, what you I'm like? Ah, right, I'm out. Exactly. I'm out. <laughs> but they've done it for Netflix. I mean, it's almost it, it, the same thing when you're at home. So. Yeah. yeah. But imagine, but imagine yeah. the majority of people doing that in the and same. Do it, do it with your buddies. To yeah. Do a Netflix share. How about that? How about that? So, Don't so, so I would, I'll, yeah. I'll say, I'll say every, every seat will come with a keypad, but they'll also come with some brass knuckles. It'll come with some weapons. It'll come with a, a body bus, armor. A spat, a, yeah. a, a, it'll it'll come with a baseball bat. So, you know, just <laughs> to protect yourself, you know? So technically, you know, you tell you won't have to have a, a number pad. You just, yeah, use your phone. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it that way, too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Here's the number or here's the, here's the app because there's always going to be an app. You know, see <laughs> every, I mean, every ticket comes with some pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> just a wee bit of pepper spray. You know, it's funny. The fact that you mentioned that, I can see that in the future. Um, Because you know how, like, uh, AMC has, like, while you watch movie. Th- uh, that they have like the games, the interactive games with the phone and stuff. Yeah. So like yeah. I, I can see that in like I would say like twenty, thirty Which is years. Really bad. There was there was it's an terrible ex- that interactive game with your phone or whatever. Fuck it is. I, I have the motion sickness looking at the screen. <sighs> I'm <Yeah>. it's <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like and then it's like, I don't know. There was a there was an experimental movie and I don't remember how it turned out because I seen it once and it I don't know if you remember it, Danny, because I saw it when I was able to rent it in Blockbuster. Um, uh, it, it was an experimental movie called Time Code. I'm pretty sure it was Time Code. And it was a movie where multiple screens were on the screen at once. Oh, no. So multiple things were happening at okay. once. So you, you, you can kind of focus on whatever you wanted. And it all converged into like the same story, but it was like perspectives of different people in every scene. And it was all happening mm-hmm. at once. I don't really know how you can handle something like that, but... Oh, like that, that that's right. kind of interesting too like not necessarily watching it all at once but maybe like putting in like a headset and you can view whichever perspective that you prefer to while other people looking at other people's perspectives and stuff like that and then it all kind of get to get comes together I'm just saying we could talk about movies but we can't talk about bleach I, I'm just you're saying. right you're that right you see <laughs> that was biased <laughs> <laughs> That was bad. Yeah. My volume, my Moving on then. <laughs> now, imagine like you go to that movie scene and then the one person says, "These decisions are made," and then you just get mad and walk out. Like you're gonna see a lot of people walk out because of the straight. I'm gonna be honest with you. I walk out. I walk out because I know it's gonna turn it's gonna turn to chaos. And I don't even. Doing I don't even know yeah. how we got into the movie thing. I was talking about solo. <laughs> I was talking about story, like video games and yeah. stuff like that. He All started right. talking about. Yeah, exactly. uh, Exactly. Until dawn, different yeah, 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 yeah. We got the rabbit hole. That's All right, saying. that's the ra- that's the <laughs> second rabbit hole today. <laughs> we, we climbed out. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna land into a landmine eventually. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. So the next thing we'll we'll, we'll ask oh, I'll ask today is. Um, since we're talking about multiplayer, so apparently we're all actually into multiplayer more so than I thought. So has gaming helped with your shyness or antisocial behaviors? So like with Danny, he says he didn't like people. So like, do you think multiplayer kind of helps out with that a little bit? Kind of lubricates things or has that helped or not helped or what? Well, helped by what? Not liking people? Yeah. Well, you gotta realize that. So, it has, so it's made it worse. <laughs> no, it's not made it worse. Uh- <laughs> What I do for a living is the most sociable fucking thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I literally have to take customers out, take them to lunch, fucking, and like, you know, constantly talk Dan- to random people I've yeah, never Danny, met. Before. Danny doesn't have to go to details, but he's a salesman, basically, in, yeah, in a sense. Uh, and, you know, and not as much as I uh, might now as I was, like, like a month ago or whatever, because it's just recently changed, but... Mm. I constantly had to meet brand new people every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, get kicked out of fucking trailers or whatever it is on a constant basis if I wasn't like sociable enough. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I have to fake it. And I'm really good at it because, you know, we get paid pretty well now. Uh, <laughs> make it till you make it, baby. Exactly. But it's one of those things where like, I'm, I'm really good at pretending. <laughs> That's so that's cool. that's the retail side. Like, yeah, me and yes. you've done retail for a long time, so it's like you bring up your retail. Hi, how you doing? Yes. Hello. 
you know? I'll say the same. Versus, say yo, the what's same up? Joke. I'll say the same joke every single <laughs> meeting <got> time <laughs> because it's a different person. So yeah. they're not going to know. And yeah. it's, just, it's a pure act. I have one where, you know, it's going to be 674 cents. <laughs> Oh, it's just $6, yeah, type of thing. And I've been doing yeah. this as Blockbuster, and I still do it. Mm-hmm. And they fuck it, and people are really funny. And they like it, or they humor it enough, you know, mm-hmm. to, to to whatever. And it's, it's like, I don't know, I don't like people. And I'm like, every time in my head, it's just people who, customers that I have, love me, get me gifts, whatever it is. And it, it Go to lunch for hours and I think in my head, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> like, I just want to go, oh my god, shut up, let me leave. Like, I got stuck yesterday, fuck yeah, I was delivering gifts to a customer and this lady just talked my ear off a bunch of I didn't give two fucks about. And I'm just trying to reach for the door and leave. And I'm like, I don't want to be around people. <laughs> I just want to I, go away. So, so how does so how do you answer this question? No. <laughs> what do you mean? No. So, has multiplayer games like helped with like any of those behaviors that you have, those feelings clearly that you not. have? Because clearly not. It hasn't no. done anything. <laughs> no. It hasn't done a single thing. Because because I because of my job of having to pretend so fucking much and deal with people and I don't want to deal with people I'm not going to deal with people on a multiplayer aspect if I don't have to it's so much so where I stay I find myself trying to stay away so much from anybody where I won't do contact in a game unless you're there or Kevin or whoever you know whatever Mm -hmm. if Kevin decided to put a fucking smash group together I'll play I'll be on it you know I would talk I wouldn't like you know what I mean? Because I know Kevin now, and I think he's really cool, and I know we get, you know, we mesh really well. Same yeah. thing for Randy or, like, you know, obviously Danny. But if it wasn't for Danny to introduce me to you guys, I wouldn't. I don't think we would know each other at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. if we, if I went to the bar in Randy's bar today, you know, if I didn't know him at all, and I went to his bar today, I wouldn't fucking talk to him. Mm-hmm. Hey, he looks like he's twelve years old, but what the fuck's that kid behind the counter? So, see, see that, and the reason, why, so the reason why I asked the type of question is because I'm kind of the opposite in a sense. Because I was, I was in the same boat as you. Like, I, I didn't like people. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna say I don't like people. I wouldn't say that because I'm very much an introvert, but I, I do like socializing when I'm in the mood for it. Mm-hmm. Um. But the thing is, is that like when I started doing more multiplayer games, such as Destiny, especially Destiny, which, you know, this is why I, I love the game so much, because it's it's opened a lot of different doors for me. And, you know, when it comes to like socializing and a lot of other things, but um, starting with that, you know, I started to socialize more with people online, which made me kind of like think, OK, maybe I can like open up a little bit more with other people that I maybe work with or whatever it may be. And it actually even gave me this perspective. I was just like, yo, I kind of need to get out of my bubble a little bit. Maybe I should find some sort of job outside of retail where I can kind of like learn to like socialize a little bit more. And that's when I started thinking, okay, bartending. I'm like, I'm the, I'm, I'm the most quietest person and I'm super chill. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, bartending would have been the complete opposite of what anybody would have thought I, I would do. And I did it and it, it, I, I've broken out of my shell because of it. So I honestly like, multiplayer games has changed like my social behavior because like it, it it allowed me to think okay maybe i can talk to people maybe i can enjoy people's company whether it be online or off and and and, and not lead to me just being annoyed all the time so like mm-hmm. it, it led to a lot of things so that's why like I'm not so antisocial anymore I, i'm very friendly with everybody and i wouldn't say that it's fake because genuinely, I still I'm still straight up like honest with people if I don't like them, and that that, that caused me a lot of problems as well. But like just being straight up honest over that shit. But um, but like for example, Randy and 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 Kevin and and even Jay, because through Jay is when I met where I met um Kevin and Randy. Like if I was working anywhere else, I wouldn't have talked to any of them outside mm-hmm. of work. Like, I probably would have just been like, yo, all right, we're going to do our jobs. That's it. And then go home. And that's pretty much mm-hmm. it. But, like, you know, I, I got to know Jay a little bit. 
And then eventually he introduced me to Kevin. Kevin started talking to me when he was chilling at the bar. And then Randy, he was one of our servers. So Randy started talking to us because associated with everybody else. And I was completely open and honest and kind of like, um, uh, I just, I guess just open about anything that I liked to see if like anything clicked, like I'll talk about myself to kind of be like, okay, is there anything you're giving me back to, to, to like, see if like, there's any give and take, if there's anything you're interested in that, mm-hmm. that, that I have in common with you and stuff like that, anything worth talking about. And it, it, well, it, it just worked. So mm-hmm. like, yeah, multiplayer games can do that kind of stuff for you. Uh, See, for me, the only thing is that I've always, for work, I've always, and still to this day, I have two Daniels. I have a work Daniel, and I have home Daniel. Know, home Daniel. Mm-hmm. And even my wife knows, like my my wife can ask me to do a million fucking things at home, but if I'm home, I'll do it. But if she asked me to do it at work, I'll forget completely, you know, because I'm at work and I'm doing. And there's nothing I can think of besides work. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm home, I can do nothing. I can't do work. I, I, mm-hmm. Now it's getting a little bit different because my job, I'm, I'm always, always kind of on work. But, hey. at, but at a certain point, I would, as soon as I got home, I would just, I, everybody at work, I don't remember, you know, don't know who they are. But yeah, you don't, you don't I, have and, to. And they could be, the, and they could be great. Uh, I've had tons of people I talk to at work who talk about all types of shit. Yeah, yeah. Video games or whatever. Tons of different interests we we have, food, whatever. But the second I get home, I don't know who that person is. Yeah, you don't you, know, you don't have to defend yourself on it. Like you, that's that's your perspective on things, and and yeah. and that's fine. And like I'm just saying, like for a different perspective, is like that's how it how it worked for me. You know, I got you. Like that's all it is. Like uh, I don't think anybody should should think uh uh, uh lowly of of like how Danny sees people or how he how he sees how he socializes and stuff because he he's doing just fucking fine. You know, yeah. with, with or without Dana. you. So Dana, Dana looking at everyone like you're fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. You're not good enough for me. <laughs> you're not good enough for me to remember your name. What's your name? I'm horrible with that. So it's actually quite chill. I still can't get fucking Randy. He still can't get Randy and Kevin. Yo, for the <laughs> longest time, yo, Dan, when, when Danny yeah. first joined, Danny is like, yo, what was the dark skin guy? What, what was his name? Like, uh, fucking Randy. <laughs> Randy. Randy's a black name. I can't. And fucking and Kevin's a white name. And and, and I pictured um, uh, Randy is white in my head. That's why I met him. Yeah, because he has that very white blonde hair, fucking white boy kind of voice, and then you meet him, you're like, oh, oh, you're you're like pure Mexican, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At twelve years old, he's sitting his skin, he fucking. He has the voice of a forty year old, but looks like a twelve year old. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I think Randy's voice is deep in the mind, and sometimes I question yeah, right? my voice. I look yeah. in there like, I'm better than this. yeah, I, I haven't yeah. gone through puberty yet, according to Randy. <laughs> oh, what about you, Kevin? What about you with this uh, stuff? For me, I wasn't who I was till I put on the mask. And there goes the controller. Okay, cool. So uh, to answer your question, I, I've i always... I'm not going to say I've always hated talking to people. Um, I just strongly disliked it. Uh, hold on, give me one. Uh, and... Uh, what whatever like a sandwich or something um and like the the thing that i've realized is that i'm i'm sort of funny i wouldn't say i'm like hilarious but you know i'm funny enough that i can get away with some some jokes and stuff like if i ever met a like somebody that i was training the first thing i'd be like is i right, cool do you do drugs there's like no what kind of drug <laughs> no i'll just ask some questions to make them like less tense and stuff so i've always been social but i would say like i'm not very I, I don't know how to describe it. It sounds like it's like counterintuitive, very unsociable. Like I'm, I'm hard to talk to because I only can talk to people for a set period of time. Even if I fuck with you, like I can only talk with you for like a long, a short period of time because then I, I somehow forget what the fuck I'm supposed to be talking about. Like my train of thought, like is just gone after a while, and it's helped to a sense but like i would say more of like shyness and stuff like i'm more open to talk to people about stuff like even if it's like personal things and it's 
harder i would say now to be less social because like majority of my job is to like basically report to somebody else like everything i'm doing like whatever i did like if i fucking like made like 500 lunches i have to let them know what i made like the lunches with whatever but like uh sociable with people kind of not really <laughs> Because I've already it's, been social. It sounds more like like you're just like you're just, you're pretty much just an introvert. Like you you don't mind socializing with people, but there's only so much social socializing you socializing you you'll do until yeah. like that battery runs low and then you're kind of just either that or you're just you your ADHD is just kicking in and you're just like yeah. all right, what were we talking about? Yeah, honestly, my um my fucking my ADHD would definitely kick in, and it's I like I love talking to people but it's just like i can only talk so much before i lose my train of thought and uh i like uh wait homeboy what the hell is this um and i i like talking to people it's just like i feel like i get drained talking to them for too long even if they're like even if the conversation's amazing like, i get drained really fast so like it, it's hard for me to say that it, it helped it didn't, didn't really help it was just like when i played games by myself i used to talk to myself to like you know like I had somebody there because like I didn't have a microphone or anything. And then uh when I started talking to people it was like a lot better. Like I got used to like dealing with assholes or dealing with cool people. So it's it's it it helped in a way. <laughs> yeah. But I was already I was already sociable before and I I, I guess like But luckily luckily the kind of jobs that we do, all three yeah. of us, like they allow you to kind of practice that and, and be social whether we like to or not because like yeah. there are a lot of jobs out there where you're just sitting down in a desk and you don't really interact with many people aside from like a couple from from your job oh man yeah you know, uh, it, it doesn't bother me no <laughs> what I doesn't mean, bother you it doesn't I, bother my new me. job all i sit i sit down in a desk and i don't know anybody anymore. well you said um, you you still have meetings and stuff I, like that you still have to socialize with people right i, I do a lot of fun. I have a lot of meetings, right? <laughs> and I hate them. I absolutely hate them. Everybody <laughs> wants to go to lunch for everything. Yeah, yeah. Wanna, all, you have no idea how many. Fucking, no, but I know. But you know, ain't <laughs> fucked up. You know, they're fucked up. I've had the best things in the world, and not have to pay for it. I've had hundred fifty dollars a day, all this shit, because these fucking companies they just want to waste money, and as it's waste of money, it's waste of time. They want they want to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner every fucking time. Yeah, mm -hmm. they take you out to nuts. They better take you out to dinner before they take you out back, like back. You know what I mean? Fuck! You have no idea. And I'm like, I just want to work. I don't want to be here. I'm here to. I'm here for my I'll, family. I'll have your you job. Have no I'll take it. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, I'll it take is it. one of. It's definitely <laughs> one of those things where I like. I do take it for for granted, but it's so draining for me. <laughs> it's, it's so draining having to fake being nice and witty and fucking come up with stories and shit and just to try to. Oh, you have no idea. It's so draining. Who is fucking me, Dan? I, see, and that's, and that's probably why it's... But, it, but that's my personality. That's why it's draining. Because I don't like people. Uh, that's, that's, I, why, that's probably why it's exhausting, too, is because you said you, like, you have to think of all these things. A lot of this stuff doesn't come natural. Like It's kind of like you're making up stories. You have to like talk about all this stuff, and it's just like... Why is that? Okay, I don't make up stories. It's, it's no, no, no. Actually, well, that's not what I meant. Like, you, you, me you're trying like to recall way. things is what I meant. Yeah, and it's constantly trying to yeah, and then you have to you have to play a balance of being witty, making sure it's about business, not just this that, making sure you're not gonna pull you. Like it's it's a it's a, it's it's a lot of act. it's a lot of juggling acts. It's not mm -hmm. just being witty for fun because you're trying to get somebody's money. Is just you're trying to get you have to get them to like you because it's, it's almost like, like you're going on a first date all the and time. It, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> the sales the, the the beginning salesman that's how it was. It's like yeah. it's literally, and they even called it like that. Like it's always the first. It's always dating. Like everything's dating, and mm. just making sure they're not taking advantage of type of thing. You know, you're not becoming the donut guy just to bring a donut to take your donuts and walk away. Um, getting something out of it in return. But then it's the the job that I have now. It's dealing with corporate assholes. A lot of fucking corporate assholes and meetings about important things that are going on. But it's still the same basis. They just want to go to lunch. Because that's what they're used to, or it's not. It's not to wine and dine them. It's because they want to talk business over lunch instead of doing it in person. And I'm like, you could just do it over the fucking phone. I really have to travel yeah, all right. the way to Orlando to have fucking lunch with you, <laughs> so that you could tell me that we're doing business is good or business is bad. Dan, he just wants to see your face. Change it. I'm like, 
He just wants to see your face. I, I, I can do it on the phone. I, I can send you an email. Like it, no. it's, it, to me, it's a, to me, it's always been wasting resources. I wonder. I wonder but, how. And again, like I, I always said, the more money I make, the less fucking actual work I do. But at the same time, this is work. You yeah. know, yeah. like I always, I eat at these fucking great restaurants and all this bullshit. But that's work. That's me having to make a fool of myself and not order the most fucking expensive thing on the menu because I've done that. <laughs> and you know, that's part of the art. You can't do that. You know, you can't look like, especially if, unless you're paying. Then yes. Yeah. So, so brag. So I got a question for you. Yeah. How how do you hype yourself up to go to this meeting? He's like, I can do this. He's I like looking at himself in a mirror. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, and again, it's once I'm in work mode, I'm in work mode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you wouldn't never know. You would think I'm out of time in my life. And, and me mentally, I I am. I'm having fun in the moment. And, but the second I'm out of work mode. I'm my God, that was so, that was so fucking annoying. Like, like you think back on everything that happened, and I'm like, right. I just, why did we? Why did yeah. I go there? Why we? Do we really have to do that? We could have done that out. Like, this is stupid. Like, whatever, you know. You, you know, one of these, one of these days, Dan, uh, sober when you're working, I'm gonna just literally just, I'm gonna fly <laughs> to where you are just to plan a meeting with you to spend the day with you. I would just be like, all right, cool. I'm pic- now, see, now, at that point, I'm just picturing Danny walking into some room and Kevin just, like, comes around and goes, how can you sell me this? <laughs> sell me this pen. <laughs> sell me this pen. <laughs> all right, bitch, I specialize in special pens, first off. <laughs> My pens cost millions of dollars. So, <laughs> if I can sell them how well, can they- I put this pen together for you and... <laughs> Six-dimensional like fucking blueprints. <laughs> gotcha, oh, gotcha. I like, I like the way you sell this pen, sir. Here's two million dollars. Here's two it's million. Just, I, you <laughs> slash my eye. You slip like I'll be back. <laughs> and then that's another thing. It's like the money that I'm. It's a, you think back the money that I'm involved and in having a touch. My not touch, but like be responsible no. of. Yeah. It's just no. like, this, this is stupid. This really could be. Just really have to go like I don't know. It's just well, it's a lot of. But um, I gotta say something else. Let's let's wrap this one up. What are you gonna say? It was something. It was it was real much gaming, but no more. No matter. All right. All right. Well. Next subject. Next. Well, there is no. Oh, sna- that's what it was. I have to say this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's no disrespect to you, Kevin. Right. What do you mean? I I had thought about it like when I first few times like I met you and. and that's I think about like the first interactions or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I always think if you were somebody who was just I played Destiny with, I would find you to be so like if I just heard your voice <laughs> and we had to play a game, I probably would be like, Oh, you're so fucking annoying. Right? So I do feel like doing all this has Well, because you directly got patience. to get to know them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because I got to get to know them a little bit more, and it gave me the patience to go, all right, he, he he's a little corny, but let me find out. Oh, you know, he's actually really cool. Oh, you know, he's actually he's actually kind of funny. Oh, you know, I fucking like it. Yeah, I fuck with this dude. All right. You know, he reminds me of myself a lot more than I realize. But, like, the first reaction, I, I, I can bet. Oh, Kevin's like, not an game. asshle. He's I'm nothing like, like you. Oh. <laughs> but, <honestly, laughs> yeah, but that is a big point, is that most of the people who I connect with instantly are assholes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, settle so over the assholeness, <laughs> and you're not. You're completely opposite of an asshole. Like, you're like yeah. one of the nicest guys I've met in a while. Yeah. You know, but it's uncharacteristic for me to become friends with someone like that type of thing. Mm. You know, because most of my friends are like very prickish. We say asshole shit to each other. You know, and you can do it every now and then, especially when you get drunk. It's really fucking yeah. funny. Oh. I love him. <laughs> drunk. I love him. He fucking tell me, Randy, you better fuck off. It's funny. It's awesome. yeah. Kevin's a different person when he's drunk. That, that's not me. That's liquid courage, Kevin. That's <laughs> liquid <laughs> courage. That's liquid Kevin. You are so fucking wrong. I'll tell you how Don take a whoop his and then, ass. And then and pass out. Three. <laughs> yo, yo, can we can we just uh, for 2022? Can we do another uh, battle royale? <laughs> oh yeah, battle royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every year thing, I'm 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 happy for it. 
Yeah, I'll do another one. That I've, I honestly, I completely forgot about that. We should do another battle royal because we've all been, we've all been. That, it's a good segue for what we're gonna do next. But we've all been doing guess the game like a rotation. Like Danny will do it, and then Kevin, and then me, and then Randy, or whatever the rotation is. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's either like guess the game audio or guess the game uh, screenshot. Maybe once in a blue moon, if I have time, I'll do the Jeopardy questions. But we haven't done battle royale in a while, so that's another kind of game thing we could do at the end of the show. Um. Yeah, I, I'll anything, come up with something. If anything, I could definitely help you out with the the video idea of it because I love. Mm. I don't know why, but I've been as of late been in love with editing, and that's something that I I really do enjoy. So mm. I could do like a, I could do like Smash Bros. Like you know, like Kirby versus Master Chief. You could just find a Master Chief clip, and then like, rest in peace, man. <laughs> rest in peace, Master Chief. <laughs> Kirby really won that gauntlet. Yeah, that was kind of funny. It was really unexpected. Um, so, 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 yes. Yeah, so, speaking of guess the game, we're gonna do guess the game now. Uh, I did Jeopardy, but since Randy, it's supposed to be Randy's turn, but since Randy's not here today, I'm gonna do guess the game audio version now. The catch with this one, gonorrhea or something like that, right? What? He's got gonorrhea, yeah. Yeah, something like that, right? (laughs) Motherfucker, he working. He's a working man. Uh, Too many bitches, and then I don't know. Oh jeez, I hope Letty's not. I I hope Letty's not listening. Yo, you gotta get this man shot. (laughs) (laughs) We have a co-host that we're missing. We don't want him going Uh, on lights. Oh fuck, this is the recording. I forgot. So, so, um, so the guess the game, the catch with that is. It's not just gonna be uh, uh, soundtracks. It's gonna be uh, s- uh, sound effects. Okay. So I've got some sound effects too that you guys are gonna listen to, and you guys gotta guess what it is. Uh, you're not gonna. Hey, you didn't know what, know what that was for a while. For me? Yeah. Wait, I still don't know what he's actually Vave, saying. Vave, I think it's Vave Victus. Vave, Vave, Vave Victus. Vave, I still don't know what Vave, it is. Actually. Is it uh, I don't. Or no, it's it's Latin for something. It's a, it's like a battle cry. Ah. Uh, okay. I yeah. just thought it was Brave Victus. No, it's so. ba- I think it's Bay Victus. Yeah. But all right, so I'm gonna do my screen share. Yeah, baby. And we are going to begin. Uh do we have to say anything before we guess the game? The game? Um, just guess. That's pretty right. much it. Gotcha. Why does he keep saying that? I see Pornhub. Yeah, damn, bro. Tranny section? Like, Tranny oh, section? Geez. Gang bang? <laughs> Stop it. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> you, guys, you guys joined the stream? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, shit. I gotta be in the stream. You gotta join it. Yeah, you do, baby. I thought it was this thing I said watch stream here. You guys are in it? Yeah, um, I'm in it. I got a little bit. All right, I'm gonna play the first one and see the sound. So it is easy to play it. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear that. Okay, that's the first song. I see the same shit you see. You know what? I don't have to be at the fucking stream. Well, as long as you hear it. You have to you have to view it no, though. No, you sh- you have it on Discord. No, 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 not this. No, that's what I meant. Join the stream on Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you. I thought it had to be on Twitch. Okay. Any guesses? I know Danny's played it. Parasite Eve. It is not Parasite Eve. Wow. Is it Dragon Quest? What is that Dragon Quest? <laughs> Where it just says The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> this I guess like a horror. It does, but it's not. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a horror game. I'll give you that clue. Clock Tower? It is Clock Tower. Okay. Yeah, I knew it's it clock tower. Is this the pause menu or something? This is the uh, title screen. Yeah, the title wow. screen. Yeah. I was like, this. it sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that shit. We just put that on. Yeah, yeah. I have, I, I'll, yeah. I've seen gameplay for us. I, I think we played it here. It was like kids and shit running around, so I had never really 
I I want to replay it. I do have it on on an emulator that I, I really want to play it again. It's really it's bad. Really bad. It is. is it thing. is. Yeah. It's rough to play. Like we were, we had fun with it when it was still innovative at the time, but it's really bad to play now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. And the acting and all that was just awful. God. Yeah. All right. Here's the next one. Oops. Oh. Skip. Right, Fact tower. Got it. Next. Got it. Is that an RPG? Is that one of the Final Fantasy games? Maybe. Is that the Chocobo Tower? No. What is it? Final Fantasy Seven? It is Final Fantasy Seven. Bonus points if you know where it's from. Is it the, the, the Chocobo Ranch? No. No, the, the from ne Nibelheim? No. Nibelheim oh. is like super creepy. I thought in the beginning it was like we're on the beach and shit. It's not the place we're on the beach? No. Oh, fuck. That. I, don't, I don't know exactly where it's at. This is the Honey Bee Inn. Oh. You just spent a lot of time in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting the massage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the all male massage. <laughs> oh my gosh. How bad uh, they cut that out of me, Yeah, they I, did. I, I looked around just for that part. <laughs> I think he was like the bad dream or something because yeah. of it. Like, he's like traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a funny fucking thing. It's weird. All right. Here is the next one. Next up, so. Did you like just copy all the Final Fantasy stuff? What is this? Parasite Eve. No. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy Sephiroth then? No. Not Sephiroth. Let me hit it. You know Sephiroth. That wouldn't be Sephiroth. I know, it's not that, but. You know what's funny? This song was also used as a meme. For uh, Death Note. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. This is Final Fantasy VIII? It is. It's. I don't know. I, I know there's a scene. There's a they play it a few times. I. Oh. So I don't. I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure they only play it in the intro of the game. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they play it on any other part of the game. I, I think when the when the town lifts when when, the, when that town lifts, I think they play it again. Mm. When it lifts up. Hey, you yeah, got it though. Part eight. Yep. Final Fantasy eight. I know my Final Fantasy. All right. Next game. Oh, I... I fucking know this. Really? Oh, I have. I know what this is. Uh, Huertas kind of has it. What do you say? Is this Mario Bros. 2? This is Mario Brothers 2. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. This is the one with that weird-ass art style that always creeps me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> dream. Yeah, it's all I a dream. Know. Yeah, he was. it was all a dream in the end. It was all a dream. I used to read Word of Magazine. <laughs> heavy D up in the limousine. Come on, Biggie. <laughs> We're from New York. We have to know that. That's like I know, right? That's the, that's this this our city anthem. Fuck fuck the 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 Alicia Keys song. Yeah, New like York. <laughs> yeah, it's it is song. nice. It's it's a new anthem actually. They they st they 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 canceled the whole Frank yeah, Sinatra Frank song. Sinatra. Yeah, so now now the Jay-Z Alicia Keys song is like the official yeah. New York City song. It's been like that for a little bit. Yeah. 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 All right, here's the but next I, one. I like that. Oh, this is Mega Man. It is. Yes, it's Mega Man. I almost looked Which at it wrong. One? Which one? <laughs> um, 
I think it's which Halo is it? <laughs> X3. <laughs> no, uh, right, you uh, it's X4. <laughs> it's X4. Ooh, it's X4. Oh my God, I would yeah. never find I guess which actually yeah. is. Because nah, I was playing the Mega Man series and I was like, I, there was a game that I constantly kept playing and it was this one. Because uh, I fucking hated it. <laughs> I was trying to get all the endings. Oh, I forgot I had two more. Here you go. I forgot I had two more soundtrack Music? songs. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Banjo Kazooie? No. No. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Man's out here farting on the track. <laughs> It's a good guess, though, Benji Kazooie. Mushroom. Way too happy. Well, I'll give you a clue. It's uh, not Benji Kazooie, but it's definitely got the same look and feel to it. It's a platformer. Conquers Bad Fur Day. It's Conquers. <laughs> God damn it. Conquers Bad Fur Day. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need that little nudge. Yeah, you know, and I was gonna say that to begin with, and I'm like, nah, it's not. Nah, it's too happy. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bro, I was thinking that. I was like, nah, this shit too happy. That game is dark as. <laughs> but it's not. It's super it's, satire. It's a, it's, yeah, it's satire. Pure satire of it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, it probably has some fucked up like words behind it, but. Yeah. Here's the <laughs> final song. Next track. You guys won't really guess this one. Wow. Sounds like something out of Fifth Element. Like Dark Souls. <laughs> So I mostly wanted to play this one so you can guys get a sense of like the scale and like the production value that this game had and it failed. So remember I talked about Advent Rising before? Oh God. So that was Advent <laughs> Rising. Oh, put that shit in the bin. <laughs> yeah. So, so this game I wanted to talk about so badly, but like. It's, it's so much there's so much that went wrong with this game it was such it, it was a good game i liked it like back then not now like if you play it now it's probably an awful game but like it was yeah. such a good game back then and mm -hmm. it was it was aspiring to be like this epic trilogy because you didn't really see trilogies that are like that were planned ahead of time in gaming mm -hmm. so there was a planned trilogy for this game and there is even a million dollar um contest Oh yeah. So and what it did was, you had to the game would 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 update every week. I believe it was like using mm -hmm. the internet, and that was also unheard of too because patches were still not so much of a thing back then. Mm -hmm. So the the game would patch every week with a with a with a, a random thing that someone had to find, mm. and once they found it and they collected them for that week, they win a prize and it amounts up to a million dollars. And they eventually had to cancel that contest because they, the, they basically like the money just didn't like work. Exist. Like they, yeah, oh. the money didn't exist. Yeah, the money didn't exist. Like they couldn't afford it. Uh, there was also like some other issues that they had with it. Uh, I think legal issues or whatever, maybe. So like they canceled the contest and then they canceled the sequels. And it's just like the whole thing was dead in the water. But it was like, it was actually a not that bad of a story. It was really cool. Damn. So if anybody has a chance to look it up, Advent Rising, like it, I actually want to try it again to see if it still plays well, but I doubt it does. <laughs> but it was good for its time. Uh, all right. So we're going to go to. Oh, no. I think actually this is another song. Oh, yes. This is another song. Here's another song. <laughs> No. Damn it, Danny, you better get this.
Is Final Fantasy again? No. What is this? Fuck. This looks like something I played recently. Is it Red Dead? It is not Red Dead. It's something Danny's definitely played. Uh, Kevin, I don't know if you had played it. Is it Diablo? It is Diablo. Okay. I, I played it recently. It's Diablo 2. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's Diablo 1. Was it? Oh, it was well, Dia it's it's Diablo. Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Diablo, yeah. It is Diablo 1. You're right. Yeah. I just played that recently. Because they, re they just remade it. They remade, they remade it. it. Did they do 1 and 2? Didn't they remake 1 and 2? Just 1. And just that's one. why I... You gave, me the, you gave me the 2 leader, bro. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mm. All right, here is the next one. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle City Escape and swing that. God! Get it out of here. <laughs> wow. I got that one just for you, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I heard that. Woo! I was like, all right, Sonic, get it out. Are you serious? Yeah, I knew that. I knew that song. I know that song, like, all for it. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> that right was there, it. I That's all you it. needed. <laughs> yeah, that's all I needed. Three seconds of the song. All right. I believe. This is the last song. Now y'all better get this, both of you. Luigi's Mansion. Boom. Yeah, it's Luigi's Mansion. I find it so funny. Like I want to listen to this a little bit more, just because Luigi's so hilarious listening to him. Uh... <laughs> I actually want to refine Luigi by Luigi's Mansion because. My favorite uh, version of this song is when the ghosts sing it. Oh, really? It, yeah, it's always fucking like, it's creepy, mm. but I love it. And then that's when you're scared, and then the ghosts would take over. And I'm like, nah. So it's always it's always cool when you... Because sometimes it'll be without the, without the, the actual music. Yeah. It'll just be Luigi's uh, looking like, humming the song. And then when you don't know the area, the ghosts do it. Or Luigi would be doing it. He's more scared. Uh, yeah. So like that. That's. I think that's when I started liking video game music. Well, you went quiet for a second. When, that's when you started liking what? Well, no, that's when I started liking like video game music and like started really paying more attention to it. Mm. Like honestly, when I heard this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And the next okay, one. Uh, yeah, this is like a four-minute thing, surprisingly. Uh, all right, here's the next one. So these are all uh, sound effects now. Try to guess yeah. where these sound effects are for. Now, obviously, I'm not going to pick some some obscure shit, so you guys should know what these games are. You just got to guess what the games are. Can you play that back? That was Yoshi being raped. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. You're right. <laughs> so like you're the ass, bro. <laughs> what is that? Is that Metroid? <laughs> it's not. I could see that, but no. <laughs> no, no. It's it's confusing the shit out of me. I, I know you've alien. played these games. It's an alien. alien. It's a alien. A alien? Is that the alien versus predator like beat 'em up game? No. No, okay. It's not the franchise Aliens. Like it it's, is, it's not even a, like a Nintendo type game. It is not. It is a PC game. Oh, I have no idea. Play it one more time. You've played this game, Danny. Oh, Starcraft. No. no, no, no. You probably thought it was like a Zerg or something, but no. Yeah. No, it's no. it's an alien monster. A fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's beyond me, Chief. You got this. This is the head crab from Half Life. I've never played Half Life. Uh, I have played fucking Half Life. Like, oh, I've never <laughs> heard. Like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> bro, it's like 2022, bro. Oh like, man, it's recent. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. Oops. All right, that's much. That's Halo. That's Halo. That wasn't supposed to go. Ass. That wasn't supposed to go right away. <laughs> All right, we know. We know that one. Yeah, baby. What's that one? Crash. 
That's Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. And then this one. That's Halo. That's Halo. <laughs> All right, here's the next one. Kirby. That's Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the next one. That's Metroid. No, that is not Man. Metroid. That's Mega Man. It's Mega Man. <laughs> it's Mega Man's death. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's brutal. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? <laughs> He's on fire. He's on fire. Oh, NBA Jam. <laughs> <laughs> NBA Jam. <laughs> What's he say? He's on fire. Oh, shit. That is NBA I, Jam. I, right I, I knew I knew you were going to get it by that point. <laughs> you, know, you know what you should have got? You should have got sweet mother mashed potatoes with gravy. He's on fire all the time. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. All right, here's the next one. The codes for like to get the, the random head. I, oh, the I remember head. the big head mode. But oh, yeah, but I always wanted like somebody else. It's not some other person. Mm. Bill Clinton, I think it was one at one point. Like... <laughs> yeah, here's the other one. What? That's Pac Man. Pac Man, yes, it is. It's Pac Man's Pac Man's death. Yeah. Jesus Christ, a lot of deaths in this. A lot uh, of death. <laughs> a lot of death in this one. <laughs> here's the next one. Oh, that's Street Fighter. That is Street Fighter. What part yeah. of Street Fighter? That's the character select screen. Character select screen. <laughs> of course, Kevin will get that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. All right, this is the final one. What? <laughs> get it, Chris. No, that was a good guess, though. Act Razor. Definitely yeah. not. Eh. Master Blaster. It is not. He's just throwing games at the wall. I mean, I it's a Nintendo game. You're aiming at the right kind of area. I don't know. This one's beyond me. I have no idea. This game, everyone in the entire world has played it. Mario. Oop, one more time. Nope, that ain't it. Everyone who owned a Game Boy. I didn't really own a Game Boy, I'm going to be honest with you. Kirby? No. No. That's not Kirby. Uh, the second the second bit of the sound effect is what kills me. <laughs> Tetris? It's Tetris. Really? Guess what? That's the death what? screen. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah. I was too good that I lasted so long every time I played. <laughs> I didn't get to test me that much. I would just have to turn the game on. You didn't get to. Uh, you didn't get to. <laughs> <laughs> so Danny, Danny's never heard the death screen in his life. Yeah, it's not, I, never heard, it's not, I, don't, I don't know what that sounds like. He just turns the game off before he loses. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't lose if the game is right. Rage great as shit. Fuck this game. Oh, yeah, man. man. Well, so that's it. So that's it for Guess the Game. That is it for today's show. Uh, don't forget to check out the drunkenguardian.com for all the links to the podcast, audio versions, all audio podcast services like Google Play, Spotify, Apple. We're also on YouTube. Those epi This episode will be up about a day or two after we air it and sign off and everything's good. So I'll start, you know, uh, editing it ASAP. Uh, keep in mind also, we also, we are also doing a new segment every week as well called the health potion, which we talk about, um, uh, uh, health, mental health awareness and stuff like that, especially when the gaming community that is audio only. So check out the audio podcast. If you guys want to listen to that stuff as well, um, as Kevin dances, do you have anything to say? Yeah, hi guys. Uh, Boom is Bones here, also known as Kevin, Kevin Paris. Uh, I also do my own streaming thing. I could finally go back to streaming. Everything's going well. I'm finally off, you know, vacation time. And I'm going to be streaming uh, at uh, Boneless Bones underscore TV on Twitch.tv. You can find me there. I'm likely going to be playing whatever game I feel like at the moment. And I also have a YouTube, uh, Boneless Bones, no underscore TV. And I'll love to see you guys over there. Later, guys. Bye-bye. That's pretty much it. So we see you guys next week. Hopefully we got some actual news to talk about. 
And we'll have Randy back hopefully as well. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, Huertas. Happy holidays. Night. Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. By the way, actually, actually, before we even we even sign off, um, we're not gonna do an episode next week since it's the holidays still. So everybody yeah. just chill, relax. I'm, I'm giving y'all a vacation, you know. I'm I'm letting you guys well, off, you know. Yeah, you, you guys. Same week as like this. No, we just we're just gonna chill. We're gonna we're gonna take a break until the new year starts, and we'll be good. <laughs> New podcast in 2022. New podcast in 2022. So this is our last episode for the year. Uh, Later, guys. I love you guys. See you next year. Later, guys.